Hey, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back with another highly requested tutorial. And today we're going to show you a quick new function that's on MPC 2.2. So if you have an MPC Live, MPC X, or any other variation that works with MPC 2.0, then this will help you out. So if you look at the kit we have loaded up on MPC 2.2, um, it's just one of the drum content kits that actually comes with the software. So we're going to show you how to use the humanize function. And in my mind, it's kind of like another version of, uh, of um, timing correct, like kind of how like you can put swing on a beat. This is like another variation of that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get that started. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to program some drums. Mm, a little slower than that, like. Okay. Make this four bars. Add a hi hat. All right, so now we've got like a simple drum pattern kind of done. Once you uh, go up to file, you'll be able to actually use, or excuse me, once you go to edit, you'll be able to actually use humanize. So you'll see it right here under time correct. All you gotta do is click humanize and you have these different panels. If you notice, it's actually on my screen as well too. So you can do it from the screen or you can do it from the software just for all intents and purposes. I'll mix it up. So I use this to actually program, so let's do it from the screen. So the amount, the pulses, that's the first thing that's selected. Now as you move this up and down, it'll tell you how much it'll change your notes. So 24 is a small amount. See, this is a very small amount at 11, practically mechanical. But if I go all the way up here, less than a 30 second note, more than a 30 second note, a bit less than a 16th note. So just to show how extreme it can get, I'm going to push that to the max. Then the eagerness, it's ahead of the beat. I'm going to push that to always embarrassing late, embarrassingly late. And then I'm going to push the length of the notes, humanizing my notes all the way to 100%. And I'm going to humanize the velocity at about 76%. And then press do it. So notice what drastically changed. So look, I'm going to press play and you're going to be able to hear the difference but all of the events have kind of moved off key. All right, so that's humanized, right? So it did that at like a crazy rate to where everything's off beat. So now let's go back to normal. All right, so now we're gonna go back to edit. Let's go to humanize again. All right, I'm gonna put this a very small amount and I'm gonna put this often after the beat. All right, and I think I want this to be a bit less than a 16th note or a 64th note. All right, let's see how that changed. Alright, so notice everything still sounded a bit off kilter. So I'm going to go ahead and do some edits to that again. But it wasn't as bad as before where everything was embarrassingly late. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Okay. So notice that gave my beat a little bit of swing. So yeah, that's pretty much the humanized function. That's what you can use it for to give your beats a little bit of groove, a little bit of swing. And yeah, you can do the same with your instruments, you can do it with MIDI, you can do it with drums, you can do it with anything you want in the software. So, if you guys have any questions outside of that, feel free to contact us at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. <laughs>
And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Peace.